Hey church, day 12 of the Daniel fast. We're almost two weeks in. You're almost there. I don't know about you, but it's been awesome for me. I look, so look forward to every day during breakfast, lunch, and dinner to be able to know that I can, I'm going to be getting incredible scripture with incredible devotion and incredible content. And again, it's just been awesome to intentionally devote myself to prayer and fasting. Well, today's scripture is awesome. It's in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 3 and 4, where it says, Blessed be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our affliction, so that we may be able to comfort those who are in any affliction with the comfort with which we ourselves receive and are comforted by. So how awesome is that? Not only does Paul, the writer of 2 Corinthians, talk about the comfort that we receive, but how we then become a cup of comfort to pour out for other people. So what I would encourage you today, as you're devoting yourself to in, in fasting and, and reading the scripture, to ask God, how can I be um, a deliverer of everything that you're giving to me. If you've shown me grace, God, how can I extend grace to other people? You've shown me mercy, God. How can I show mercy and love and affection and encouragement for other people? Because ultimately, I know all of our goals, not only to experience personal breakthrough, but also to be used by God as the breakthrough for somebody else. What an awesome opportunity would it be to be a church that's just receiving from God, but turning right around and pouring out what God is doing in our own lives. So I just wanna pray a blessing over you and an encouragement over you. Father God, we're so thankful that you've shown us mercy, that you've shown us grace, and even in our times of affliction, you're showing that you are strong and that you are for us so no one can be against us. So Father God, as we, as we acknowledge and as we recognize all that you are in our own lives, Father God, I pray that you give us the ability to pour out into other people's lives, to be grace, to be mercy, to be encouragement, to be the best versions of ourselves we can be for other people so that they can experience the God that we love and that we worship and that we exalt. So we pray all these things through Jesus' mighty name. Amen.